Do you guys remember on Club Penguin when like people would like role play and be like a baby and then they would be like in the pet shop and they'd be like, I need a mom and you're like, what? And then you would grow up and have a family and then once you turn into a teenager you made yourself all emo? No? Only me? Hey guys, it's me, Kelly. So today's video that I'm doing is my childhood websites. I am doing a similar video to my childhood video games, so I was like, hey, I didn't just play video games, I played on the computer too because that's what you did as a kid when you got a computer and you're like, OMG, I'm going to play on all these websites. So let's get on with the video. The first website is Club Penguin. This is like the number one website that I love to death and that I played first. Um, my mom found it and because she loved penguins and she's like, oh my god, we should play this, Kelly. And I was like seven when she found it, so, or something like that, or even six, maybe five. Don't really remember. I have a membership to this day and I just remember so much stuff from Club Penguin and I go on it now, so it tells you something. It's a fun game, or website, so it's like the basic little kid website that like all kids have been on so the next one would have to be webkins um literally i didn't know what webkins was until i moved to where i am now in third grade i literally entered third grade and everyone's like do you have a webkins and i was like what and so then i got one and then i would bring my stuffed animal to school and we would all have like play dates and then they'd be like okay go on webkins at this time and we'll have a sleepover or a party and i was like yay friends so yeah, so I've had that account, I was just on that recently, and I've had that account since like 2008, so it tells you something. I'm still a little kid. <laughs> okay, the next two kind of go together. So, Disney.com and Nickelodeon.com. On Disney, of course I played like this Sweet Life of Zack and Cody game, Hannah Montana game, the Leo and Stitch game where you had to like make sandwiches, anyone remember that? Yeah. Um, also, I don't think I ever asked my parents permission to go on there, so oops. Nickelodeon.com, um, I just played a bunch of games on there, I don't remember exactly which ones. I remember there was one for like Cat Scratch, if you guys remember that TV show. Um, I just remember playing that game a lot. So the next one is Pixie Hollow, I don't know if anyone knows this, but it's kind of like Club Penguin, but it's with fairies, and I used to love fairies at a certain point of my life, like all the Pixie Hollow fairies, like the Rosemary or whatever her name was. And she was like gardening, and then there was like the water one, the light one, the speed one. I don't remember all their names. And then like Tinkerbell, and there was like a thing on Disney Channel about that. So like a whole like series or movies and stuff like that. And I was obsessed with it, so I joined and I think I was a gardening fairy. And I was like, oh my gosh, yay fairies! I want a fairy! I need a fairy! I want to meet a fairy! Like. My whole life was dedicated to Pixie Hollow, so... So the next one is Hollow Hotel. Okay, I found this when I was like young, so like maybe eight. And I was like, oh, what is this? This looks fun. Signs up and I was like, I'm so confused. I don't understand. And like, okay, now that I look at it, I can tell it's like more of a teen tween kind of game. Even though there's so many people on there who are like strippers and prostitutes and weird people on there but at the time I was like I don't know what's going on uh, I'm gonna leave uh. I was like so scared <laughs> but I probably play on there now and the last one I found with my friend um, we used to like be on the phone and play games together and then once she got an iPod and I had an iPod we would FaceTime and play games all day for like hours so one of the websites is neopets.com or .net whatever one it is, Neopets, and literally she was just like, hey, there's this game, and um, do you have a Neopet, like I saw in your room, and like, there's a website for that, and you can like play, and be like, feed your Neopet, it's like your own little pet, and I was like, oh my gosh, that sounds so fun, let's do it, and so we would do that, and you could like fight, it was like a click website, so each thing was like, click, click, click. Another one, when I was little, was David Cook, I don't know if any of you remember that, but like, you would it, you were in this like little kid's house, so if you clicked on like the spoon, you could like cook stuff. If you clicked on like the sandbox, you can build a sandbox. I don't know if anyone remembers that, but I remember playing it a lot. So I think it was called David Cook. 
or Daniel Cook, one of those. It started with a D, don't really remember. So some programs, I didn't just play on websites, I used to buy like CDs, well not CDs, like discs to play games. So like one of them was Funkies and you had this little thing and then you could use like all these little guys and like switch them so like if I wanted to be the devil dude I just put him on here and I could be the devil dude in the, my game it was so cool back then like I was like oh my gosh I, I want to be the skeleton dude and you would like have to fight enemies but you could talk to people but you only had to get a special funky which was this one I don't know a lot of people don't know what this is so I was like I played it I have two of these big ones and <laughs> It's because I used to play at home and then I had one at my grandparents' house so I could play like whenever. But yeah, totally try to play it again because I don't remember much. Just remember there was like a lot of bad guys and like stuff like that. So another like program slash disc thing would be Barbie Pet Rescue or Barbie Pet Hospital. I forget what it was called. But I remember it had to do with animals and you were like a vet veterinarian. And like there was like a bunny, you had to take care of a bunny, you had to train a dog. Um, to go down like a slide or something like that and I remember I played that a lot and I just remember it don't know where it is but I remember it and the last one so I used to play all these like jumpstart games they're not really games they're more for like educational purposes um, like you would learn while you play kind of thing and this one was about phonics and I have other ones that are like first grade, second grade, third grade, like I had a bunch of them. And there was like one of these like about each ecosystem or something like that. Or like animals in each ecosystem. And so there's this song from one of the games of by Jumpstart where it's a bat singing about her echolocation. So if I find the music or video or whatever, I'll put it in. Okay guys, that's it for my childhood websites slash programs, but I'm just going to call it childhood websites. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And also comment below if the, any of the websites you played on were the same. Maybe I met you on Club Penguin. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I should have a Club Penguin meetup because I totally have a fan base. I don't know. Also make sure you subscribe. I post videos every Saturday so it gives you something to do. Unless you're celebrating Josh Dunn's birthday today and Jack Bear Cat's birthday today, then subscribe to me a different day. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye!